Indonesia is a country made of many cultures and religions. It's one of the most diverse places in the world where you see unity between people. So what's really interesting about Indonesia is that it has amalgamations of all sorts of cultures. And the culture we've come today is the Yemen culture. This place here is called Warung Karo, and there's many different types of Warung Karos around Indonesia. But this one is very particular in Banjarmasin. So what we have here is uh, Kambing Gorang, Salad Daging, which basically is their sort of soup style. Then they have Kari Kambing, which is like a kind of like a, a thick goulet style. Then again, very typical to sort of these regions is they have achar bois, which is like a fruit achar. And then they've also got here, which is soup kambing, sop kambing. And then also here we have basically a simple achar. And then she very kindly uh, quickly sneaked in here of her beautiful korma kambing curry here. And you know what I love about, you know, the Yemen people? The lady that's here is fourth generation. And then also the warung has been here for 30 years. Oh, that's a long time. So should we start trying the food? Dip into this and look at that. It is so nice. Also got a little bit of sauce here that we didn't put in. So I'm gonna dip it into there. This is like a sweet chili. Mm -hmm. Nice. And then curry kambing, which is a wonderful kind of juicy curry here. You want a taste of that? Mmm, mmm, that is so good. And again, putting the chili in there, just adds a little bit of heat. You basically have this um, achar bois, which is like a fruit achar. Probably also a bit for digestion, no? Mm-hmm. Again, because we're talking about digestion, when you eat lamb, it makes your high blood pressure. To counteract high blood pressure, you have cucumber. And so that's why in this salada daging, which is basically like a soup, they've got cucumber inside here. It's huh. been shredded and been pickled. And that is basically to combat the high blood pressure that you have out of kambing. Is that good? It's, um, it's really good at this mm. place. On this side, they are here, sop kambing, which is basically a simple goat soup, boiled bones, carrots, potatoes, probably a little bit of nutmeg in there, probably a little bit of clove in there as well, and also garlic and a little bit of shallot, all kind of sliced up. This is a soup that I have at home, which my sister-in-law makes for me. And then what you have here as well. That's the secret. This is the korma. And you know what, as I'm tasting this korma, I reckon that this is very similar to what we actually had, which was the, she called it the, the itik uh, curry. If you taste it, it tastes the same. The sauce specifically mm. is what you speak of? Mm. Mm. Exactly the same. Yeah. Exactly, it's a korma. So very interesting as well. And again, this one is done with um, lamb or goat rather than with the duck, but still very, very good. And again, the reason why you serve pickles with it is that basically the vinegar is meant to cut the richness of the lamb. That's good. Got a bit of heat there. Heat's not coming yet. Okay. So, just to finish off, basically, this is definitely check it out because it has been emerged into the culture and they've adapted it to an Indonesian style as well. Absolutely, shockingly delicious. Mm. So, some of the best home style, ethnic delicious food we've had on the entire trip so far. Oh, this will be the highlight. So I've decided to take Kevin to another Arab warung. This, one is, <laughs> this one is called Warung Masir. And it's very, very special as well because this one is specialized in Nazi Samin, which is all about the rice. They have Nazi Kabuli, Nazi Samin, and then they, of course they have their curry kambings, curry daging, curry ayam, and then also some sop buntut. So let's tuck into the food. I'm going to, they've done a lamb shank here, so they give me just the end small, of the goat. Just a small bone in just, shank. And look at how tender this is. So gelatinous. Mm. Again, a little bit sweet, a little bit aromatic, got lots of cinnamon, clove. Not traditional Arabic. Not traditional Arabic at delicious. all. Delicious. Very delicious. And then this one obviously has been roasted braised or braised? Braised, just straight braised. Just straight, and then this obviously has been fried. Braised and fried. Braised and fried. Um, mm, that nazi slime in. You can taste the it's ghee. It's great. It's really good. And then they've got raisins in there. Yeah, so, I mean, very, it, it does have the sweet fruits that you would come to expect from obviously this type of you know, Turkish Middle Eastern rices. Mm. Of course, you always have your achar on the side, which lowers your blood pressure and also gives a bit of freshness to the goat. It's all these trading posts have this wonderful cuisine in Indonesia. And what I find is that to discover Indonesia, you have to travel Indonesia. Agreed. You can't just go to Bali and sit on the beach and go, I've done Indonesia, because that's not it. You've no, there's more. So much more. There's more.
This draws our time to the old trading post of Banja Masin. It's a collective of cultures that they call it their home now. <laughs>